Yes, okay. we are there. Aya, number one, we are given a bigger rectangle and a smaller uh, rectangle. As we know, this is length. This is length and this is length, right? So we shall use this one and this one, correct? Yes. Now, remember, what formula shall we use? What formula shall we use? Remind me. One over area two. Uh-huh. Is equal to? Length one over length two squared. Fantastic. Now, what is our area one? What is our area one? 12. 60 centimeters square. Good. We, we are not given, so we multiply, right? Because we know length times width. So it will be 12 times 5. Right. And then we get 60. Sixty right? over fifty. We substitute and we get sixty over fifty is equal to. Sir, it's fifty centimeter, not fifty centimeter square. Meters. You are meaning this question here, right? So, yes. So there. Yes. So now it's clear. Yes. yes. Okay. Then what is next? What is uh, next? Six divided by five. We get one forty-four x squared. Uh huh. Then cross multiply. Cross multiply. Cross multiply. What's the answer? What is five times one forty-four? 720. 720. Okay. Then we divide by 6. 120. Divide by six. 120. Square is equal to 120. Very good. Then we get the square root. 10.95. Mm, 10.95. 10.95. I think that was clear. Or we can give 11. Yes. 11.3 significant figures. Fantastic. Uh -huh. Number two. What did we do? Formula. One over the formula. Area one over area two. Length one over length area two square. Is that correct? Yeah. Yes. yes. Fantastic. Uh -huh. What is our area one? 85. 40. 85. 85. What's our area two? 40. 40. 40. Fantastic. What's our length one? So nine. seven. Somebody nine. said nine. Seven. Why did you say nine? nine seven. This side, seven. right, is related uh, okay. to that side. Is that correct? Yeah. Oh. Then we square. Fantastic. Uh huh. What is next? What is next? Uh, nine, 49, 49. 49 over x squared. 49 over x squared. Over x squared. Over Fantastic. X square. yeah. Then next. Cross multiplication. Uh -huh. 85 x squared. 85 x squared is equal to? 1960. 1960. 1960. Fantastic. Next. Over 85 over 85. Very good. Uh-huh. 23 point zero five. 23 point. Zero five. Zero, five. Zero, five. Zero, five. Zero five. Very good. Next. Square root. Square root. Square root. Uh -huh. Square root. Square root. You put square root. Which side? Four point eight zero. Eight point eight point eight zero. Zero. Very good. I think you for your participation. Are we together? Yes, yes we are. Yes. yes. So we are now very okay with the area of similar shapes, right? Yes. Good. Now let's go to our next chapter. In the next chapter, I want you to be silent because we are just looking at it for the first time, okay? We are looking at it for the first time. And that is volume of Similar, similar shapes, okay? 
As we have seen already, area of similar shape. Do you agree? Yes. Okay, now let's move on. When we look at the volumes of the similar shapes, take, a, take an example. If I have that shape, and if I have another smaller shape, if the two shapes are mathematically similar, then I should be able to find the volume of the bigger shape and the volume of the smaller shape, given the length and the length. Now, if you recall our previous lesson, the formula for volume now, it will be cube because remember for square, we had k square. Now for volume, we shall have our volume cube. But do not forget that our constant will always remain as k is equal to L1 over L2. And we say always k will never change. It will always be the same. So we can substitute this k and we replace with L1 over L2. And we shall have our formula for volumes as that one. Remove k, keep L1 over L2. This is L1 over L2. And this will be our summary formula that will help us to solve volumes of shapes when I am given the volume and the length. Let's have an example. If I have that shape and that shape, these are solid shapes, right? If I have the volume, let's say 350 <laughs> centimeter cube, and if I have another volume, let's say 50 centimeter cube, I will be able to find the diameter given that the diameter this side is seven, using the formula here. So I need to substitute my values. Volume one will be 3500 over volume two will be 50 is equal to length one will be X over length two will be seven and cube. Now, as before, I open the brackets, I get x cubed over seven times seven times seven, that gives me three, four, three. This side, I cancel zero and I cancel zero. Remember, by five, one and 350 divided by five, it gives me 70. This means I have 70 over one. The next step I'll do is cross multiplication. When I'm cross multiplying, I will get one times x cube, it will be x cube. 70 times 343, it will give me 70 times 343, that is 24010. My next step is I have to do cube root. Cube root, cube root. Then my x is the cube root of my answer, that is 28.8489, and I will write it to three significant figures as that, and hence my diameter will be 28.8. .8. Let's look at a second example. Let's look at a second example. If I am given, let's say, a triangular prism and another prism there, I will have, given that I don't know the volume here, I know the volume there, meter cube, given that this is eight meters and maybe this is five meters. So if that is my values, then I can do, the formula is volume one 
over volume two is equal to length one over length two cube. Fantastic. Then I put my values. Volume one, I will keep um, V. Volume two, I will keep 70. Is equal to length one, I keep eight. Length two, I keep five. Cube. I open my bracket and I will get V over 70 is equal to eight times eight times eight, giving me five, one, two, over five times five times five, giving me 125. After getting that, I cross multiply. 125 V is equal to 70 times 512, it will give me 35840. Then I will divide by 125, I will divide by 125. After dividing that, this will die, this will die, and my volume will be 35,840 divide by 125, and that will be 286.72. And that will be the volume of my bigger shape. That is how I find the volume of the bigger shape. But remember, on our previous class yesterday, we looked at area of shapes, and today we have looked at volume of similar shapes. If you recall properly, we say the initial formula was area one over area two is equal to k squared. And right now, we have also said volume one over volume two is equal to k cube. This is our basic formula, right? And we managed to change k, we replaced with L1 over L2, and in this case, we managed to change K also with the with L1 over L2. But remember, we have to take note that sometimes we can have a question which does not have length, right? When no length is given, we can use this formula. Let's take an example. Uh, if I have, let me use the cylinder and another small cylinder. If I'm given here 120 centimeters square, and if I'm given here 30 centimeters square, and for the big one I'm given 280 centimeter cube, I can find the volume of the second shape. But if you check closely, I am not given any length. So in this case, basically, I will have to use these main formulas. How will I use the main formula? Watch. I will take area one over area two is equal to k squared. Volume one over volume two is equal to k cube. Substitute the information. Area one is 120 over 30 is equal to k squared. Volume one is 280. Volume two, we don't know, is equal to k cube. After getting these two statements, you can see the part of area has full information, the part of volume does not have full information. Therefore, I will use the, the part of area to find K. And after getting my K, I will substitute my K here so that I can find volume. Okay, now cancel the zeros. By three, you get one. By three, you get four. So it means I have four is equal to K square. Then I find square root, square root, my K is two. If my K is two, then I'll take my K this side 
and I will substitute it here. I will get 280 over V is equal to 2 power 3. Then this will be 280 over V is equal to 8. Cross multiply, 280 is equal to 8V, divide by 8, divide by 8. Hence, my volume will be 280 divided by 8, I get 35. Then I know my volume for the smaller shape will be 30, 35. So not all the time you will be given uh, area and length or volume and length. In some questions, you will be given only area with area, volume with volume. So once you are given area with area, volume with volume, then you bring back the original formulas so that they can help.